Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain's episodes 3 and 4 of Simple Care. So I haven't really seen, I've only really seen Patrons, because of course Patrons have already seen this show, but really for everybody else, because it's still, for me, it's Tuesday, and by the time, you know, everybody else will see the first two episodes, it'll be Thursday, and then I'm just wondering how everybody's gonna react to this and stuff. I'm a little nervous still, I, I, and I hope I do it good. But, I mean, the last time that, from what I remember, because this was, like, a couple of days ago, um, Subasa and What's Your Face were about to duke it out. And, honestly, like, with Subasa really about to kick this girl's ass, because we know she gonna kick her ass, like, this is Aoi Yuki, for Christ's sake. She is not gonna have OP power this is not tanya for christ's sake like god is not gonna come down give you a fucking gift over something i don't know like what else has she has she been in she's been in so many damn things that i've watched that it's not even funny like she's on her own what like nothing <laughs> cannot i may help her cannot i may come and be like hey let me help you with something but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode three in three two one go So are we just showing a part over again? Hold the fuck up. So we're not even going to see them fight? You're telling me it's been a fucking month? And we're not even going to see them fight? You ain't even going to go and like, maybe later on in the episode and just go flashback to like a previous month ago to see them fight? What the fuck? No, like, no, 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 no. You can't start this episode like this. You cannot do this. Like, that is so fucking mean. Who does that? Seriously. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm high. <laughs> That's fucked up. And if they do show it, I'll take it all back. <laughs> You know what? Let me say something. What if they have Kanade's body like somewhere? Bruh. <laughs> Don't make me think that, please. Because I swear to God. It'll be so weird. Like, if her body is like somewhere around in the school, like, girl. <laughs> I swear to God. I would not do it. No, Hibiki, you're so sleeping right now. Thank you. I take it back. There we go. No, see, okay, no, don't be like all night and come up in this bitch and be like, no, Deku, Bakugo, stop. No, let these two bitches fight. Tsubasa has a lot of anger in her and she just needs to let it out. Let her kick her ass. I mean, Hibiki, <laughs> I'm sorry. Ugh. 
don't let her get closer! You better do something before she kills you. Even though she ain't gonna kill you, though. She's just gonna make you hurt really, really bad. Oh. she was gonna do was play rough with her for a couple minutes. Anyway. I mean, well, you know, with the water, I mean, yeah, it looks like she's crying, but still. And see, you deserve that slap. You shouldn't have said that. You can't replace it. that. That's tears. Actual fucking tears. You cannot replace Kanata and her heart. I'm sorry. Possibly not even as a fucking teammate. I ain't trying to be mean, though. I'm just saying that's the fucking truth. I didn't think I was gonna cry. I can't just let me do that. Just remember the shit I said last week and then. <laughs> No, she's got some stuff to do. <laughs> huh? What are y'all, Kitty's on Austin over right now? Like, <laughs> you got your version of a Yuri up in this bitch? <laughs>
No. I have such a weird feeling that she's gonna find out probably after the supposed of Kibiki death and what truly happened because of course even though Kibiki can't tell her shit like I mean that's your best friend So basically, you're telling me another school is behind this shit? She's such a fan, girl. <laughs> My thing is, okay, so we all know that he, he can also sing as well. Why in the world did they just make her a singer as well, too? Wouldn't it be, like, a really a cover-up? So then she can go out, she doesn't really have to worry about certain things, or rest of her.
No shit, Sherlock. Question. <laughs> My thing is like, what, you came home, you didn't work on it anymore, you went to sleep, and now you're doing everything at the last minute? Just like my friends in high school, and they took forever, and I was already done with the projects that I had to do. Is it gonna happen at the end of this episode or at the end of episode four? <laughs> yeah. Good, we'll take it. Why do I have a feeling that a freaking noise is going to come and then she's not going to be able to go see the shooting stars of Miku? They haven't, see, spoken by the bell. There's the damn bell. They're not going to be able to go on their date. This is like Misa and Rin from Jet Girl. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> and then Miku's going to be so upset. She called you. Mm -hmm. Like, even though it's just like, yeah, it's okay. Is she upset about that? It's come on. <sighs> it makes you wonder if Subas is going to come and then she could possibly hurry up and get it done and then she could go on her date but then no, I don't think it's... <sighs>
And they're the great foes. <laughs> Hungry now, huh? She's not gonna remember what she did, ain't she? I mean, um, girl. Chick got problems, but I mean, that's the love that she has for me, girl. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's Subasa. Well, you're not doing a very good job at it, aren't you? Who's the fuck with that? What the hell is that? Wait, hold on, hold on. I think I know who that is. I think I is that Chris? Is that Chris? Cause I, I mean, you know, everybody's waiting for this chick. The so-called best girl. It is that Chris. Cause the, the hair kind of looks familiar to me. Cause I've seen gifts of Chris like everywhere I go. So that has to be Chris. Look at her. That could be Chris right there. That's Chris right there. I mean, come on. Okay, so uh, Chris Chris bad guy? She bad guy? Yeah? No, okay, what the fuck is going on? I mean, we got some questions up in this bitch. Like, hold up. The, uh, uh, do I want to call it rage war? Do I want to call it anger? I, I want to say that darkness that, you know, he, he had, like, girl, what the fuck was that? I, I mean, bruh, like, oh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. I wasn't expecting that. But, I, I do feel bad for her because the fact is, I think if Subasa would have came really quickly, they could have got it done. She could have solved the shooting stars with her girlfriend. Everything would have been happy. Good ending. But now, Chris, quote, old quote, until I get my answer on Friday, <clears throat> looks, I, I, I don't even know what to say about her. Like, I, I, oh, God. I, I, mm. Bad guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. That's what she is right now. A bad guy. So how the hell is she going to be a good girl? I, I just want to know. I got a lot of questions on her. And, like, of course, what if she's possessed? What if she, like, and, oh, my God. Like, what if they do something like, oh, my God. I'm trying to think. There's, like, so many shows that have kind of done it in the past where, um, essentially, like, okay, it's the bad guy. And then, like, so many, like, pretty cure. Fucking Pretty Cure did this shit. Go Princess Pretty Cure did this before I did reactions. Um, where the last cure, or like whatever cure it is, usually it is the last, is the bad guy. And then halfway through the episode, you find out she's a bad guy. And, da -da -da -da, and then eventually she's a good guy because the last freaking 
um, one or like transformation brooch or something is hers. So the, it, it's something like that. She's possibly possessed by the head honcho, the head bad guy of the of the freaking like series for now until we get into G. So essentially, I'm guessing from episodes four, three to thirteen, maybe she's still gonna be bad, and then probably by the time thirteen comes. Tsubasa and Hibiki are going to put their differences aside. They're going to become one. They're going to, like, finally work together, trust each other on a basis to where, no matter what, they're going to be O-powered, OP'd as fuck, and then next thing you know, Chris is going to be the good guy, right? Right? Like, some, some shit like that? I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a little confused. Like, hold up. I was thinking that Chris was automatically going to be good. Not... Chris is a bad guy, and essentially we have to wait for her to finally get her outfit. I mean, hers is red. <laughs> I like how I hesitated on that. But she, it, it's not red. That shit was like, let me go back. That was like, um, silver, purple, silver, silver, purple. Yeah, purpley silver color. Mm -hmm. Can't trust that bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing in episode four they are gonna fight, and it's gonna be good. I don't think anybody's gonna get killed yet. I don't like honestly between now and like the last series that currently came out. Like, somebody, there's gonna be people who are gonna die right there. So there's gonna be points like I was not expecting to cry over. Seeing Kanade dying, and I'm like, I'm still thinking about last week when I said, oh yeah, I couldn't really, um, cry or sympathize, even though I felt emotions. I was like, you know, because this is the only episode Kanade is probably gonna be in. She just died, and I barely know anything about her character and shit. And then you do it again, and then I cry, but who freaking knows? But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> episode four is three, two, one, go. Five years ago. Uh, Kanade? What? Uh, uh, uh. So you want to slaughter them all like the Titans? Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Baby, you see that? I'm so freaking cute. Oh my god. So we seriously just gonna have an episode about Kanade and her backstory and not go uh, the situation that happened in the last episode. What the? I'm going to do up the doses. Stop it. Kanari, what the fuck? That's that. Okay. The way she's looking. That's that inner demon ish that's inside Hibiki right now. Mm -mm -mm, my hair. Mm -mm, mm -mm.
Now, my thing is, like, since we're now getting the back story on Kanata, are we ever going to get one on Tsubasa? They're probably going to, like, what, do a little later on, like, seven, eight. Well, we know that ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna cry again. No. But okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, are are you any match for her? Like, let's really think about this for a second. We we don't know what Chris is capable of. See, of course, he became be like, mm -mm, no, we can't do it. Huh? Well, Jesus Christ, girl, like, what the? Thank you, Facebook, even though I don't care. Yeah, I kind of figured she wasn't going to just let her. So she's the one respond. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, essentially, she's not the one really responsible for the noise, but she summons them. I don't know how to feel about her yet. <laughs> Yeah, but all you have are your fists and your legs. I mean, you know.
I am too, honey. That's okay. I mean, I love the fact that she's also, like, having noise also in the fight. But wouldn't it just be better to just fight two bots of one-on-one? -on -one? I mean, essentially, you know what? I was supposed to actually charge this, too. Damn it. Um, it's a little fucked up. Is she going to sing that song that Kanade sang? If she's going to sing the song. Oh, God. She's going to die, I think. You didn't have to sing the song. Oh my god, because if she would have fucking died, I probably would have been done.
anything, but out of all the songs that you chose, you chose that song. Note to self when I watch the show again, bring tissues. <laughs> I'm in the bed or make me cry.
No, it's all over your face. I mean, yeah, but shouldn't you decide when you stalk her? <laughs> yeah, but then she gonna break her promise again no matter what, Mimi. I'm not 100% sure, but like... <sighs> Honestly, I'm happy that she doesn't really want to replace herself as Kanata, because, I mean, it, it's just, mm, there's a reason why. I mean, I, I don't think there could be anybody else that could replace Kanata or be her, essentially. Like, hearts like Yodoichi's or, you know, like, All Might. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but okay let's just say oh hi puppy come on you can come because this is the last episode thank god that freaking Tsubasa is okay because like I said if she would have died in this episode I probably would have been looking at this show and been like you just killed one of my favorites like <laughs> I would have been like, we're done. We're done. We're so done. But just thank God she's okay. And I mean, I hope that she eventually wakes up. And I'm guessing that's not going to happen until the second half of this show. Like, 7, 8, 9, 13, maybe. But I'm glad he be here streaming because um, she needed it. <laughs> like, that ass. What's wrong? The lies you tell because you're hiding it. You're hiding it from her, and you can't tell her because it's in her, and everything's complicated, Cody. Why does everything have to be complicated, puppy? Like, I want her to tell her, but then no, like, shit's gonna happen. She might die, and we don't want Miku to die, do we? Like, no. It's just hard, because, I mean, 
think about it with like any other anime or like superhero show where you know they can't tell the person that they care about the big this character or like something like that because you never know what's gonna happen and it hurts because the, the person who they love and care about is always wondering well why are you late to this why can't you go to this da, 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 da. why can't you hang out with me and it's like Oh my god, I'm a superhero. I'm a magical girl. I can't tell you this because I don't need people to come after you and hurt the people I care most. You, my family, my other friends, but you, the most important person in my life, the love interest. <laughs> like, honestly, this fucking hurts. Oh god, I mean, oh, just let Tsubasa wake up, please. And then it makes me wonder about, okay, Chris. Where the heck did she go? She just flies off somewhere. Well, probably we're never going to see her again. That could be a lie. We're probably going to see her in episode 5 and 6 next week. Maybe. Don't know. Possibly. It could happen. But I feel like essentially she is going to come back. And she's going to probably come back better than ever. And then she's really going to possibly end up kicking Tsubasa's ass. But since Tsubasa is like now, you know, sleeping. And we don't know exactly when she is going to wake up. Hibiki has to do everything. So, in the end, both Chris and Hibiki are going to go against each other. And, like, it makes me wonder, as of right now, does Hibiki possibly stand a chance against Chris? As of this episode? No. Maybe several more episodes where she is still training? Then, yes. And once she gets her singing and everything that she has to do under control, and maybe use her freaking, like, I don't know, darkness rays mode, whatever the fuck that shit was, with the red eyes and... Yeah, we don't trust red eyes up in this bitch. Um, until she gets that under control, because I feel like that is essentially going to come back again. And those could possibly be Kanade's true, true feelings, because, like, having that, like, first few moments of Kanade like that, and essentially of her getting her sense of gear, that could be just, a, like, a part of those fragments that are possibly inside of Hibiki right now. I don't know. You guys know, I fucking know nothing, and I'm not gonna know until possibly this Friday after I finish Fire Force. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episodes 3 and 4 of Simple Gear. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the Mattress Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday. Nope. Next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for videos for episodes 5 and 6. Bye, guys. <laughs>